Hello Leo and welcome to today's reading. I hope that all is well. If you're new here, I am your host the Apocrypha and it is a pleasure to meet you. I hope you'll consider joining the Soul Family and turning on post notifications so you'll be notified every time that I post new content. If you're returning, welcome back Soul Family. I love you guys. <laughs> okay, so I'm so sorry for um, not posting anything last week um yesterday was the last day of my two week notice so uh the first week of that i was working three jobs so <laughs> i was just so fucking dead i'm sorry you guys but please bear with me i'm trying to see how my schedule is gonna work out now um that I have like job changes and schedule changes and all of that so please bear with me but the first card that came up for you was the High Priestess okay Leo I feel like there's something that you know within yourself needs to happen needs to change needs to be said needs to be worked on um, this is you stepping into your power, trying to create balance in your life, trying to understand more about the intricacies of why you do things the way you do or why you are the way that you are. You have a knowledge and understanding that helps you see through past people's bullshit is something that I'm seeing but it's important for us to also see past our own bullshit so that's something to be mindful of there may be things that you are hiding from people that you may not have been conveying perhaps you're trying to surprise someone with something or you're not sure how they're going to handle a certain situation so you're trying to be uh, careful about the words that you use again I feel like for the most of you it's like this there's something that you are aware of that you want to do or that you want to say that you know something that is pretty important I feel like this information that you have may be important to someone around you it may be kind of like a piece to the puzzle I don't know it's something that I'm getting with the high priestess it's a very interesting energy so with the page of swords we had in reverse is your next card I was mentioning about you may be having you may know something that you are aware may help someone through something but you are not conveying that message to them if you are getting an intuitive um, feeling of something that you should some information that you should share with someone then you should share it with them there's this aspect of you that might be fearful of what someone might do or say if they had this information I kind of feel like for some of you there may be this aspect that you you don't want to tell this person this important information either to be a surprise you know in a positive way a pleasant surprise or because you know that that's going to shift the dynamic between you and these people or this person. Perhaps this is work related, you heard someone was getting a raise or a promotion or something. For some of you, I feel like you may know something that someone did that they shouldn't have done and you have the opportunity to open up and to communicate or to relay that information to someone that should know um, but that you're not perhaps you saw someone cheating on someone else 
or that they're flirting around with other people and you're not telling their partner even though this person may be a mutual friend it's like there's something that you know that you're not conveying that you haven't spoken about and maybe it's because if that's your case then maybe you feel like it's not your place none of your business but let me tell you something if someone witnesses a murder and they don't say anything they're just as guilty so you saying to yourself, well, it's not my place to say anything because I don't want to cause problems. Like you are a part of the problem at that point because you know the truth of a situation and you're not conveying knowledge, information that you know that you should. That's for someone. I, I feel like that might just be for like one person, maybe a very, very few of you, Leo, but there's something that you know, whether it's positive or negative, um, you know, everyone's situation is different, but you know something and you're not communicating it, is what I'm getting the sense of right now. This could also be someone in your energy, someone in your surroundings that may know something, maybe it's any of that information, but towards yourself. So maybe someone saw you do something you shouldn't have done, or maybe someone knows you're getting a promotion and they don't want to spill it. Spoil the surprise. Take it as it resonates. But that's a very strong energy that I'm feeling here. I also feel like playing your cards. You're trying to play your cards carefully. Whoever is in this high priestess energy, whether that's you or someone else, it's like you're really cautious of how you communicate or the things that you do. I feel like some of you are trying to be sneaky about something. If you're trying to sneak around your partner's back or something, don't fucking do that shit. Like, don't. That's just pathetic. Straight up. That's my opinion. Take it, leave it. I don't care. Um, but, I mean, really, like, why be in a relationship with someone that you're just gonna fuck around behind their back? If this is you or someone that you're dealing with, I'm not saying this is your situation. There are a lot of people that may re uh, watch this reading. But I feel like that's a very prominent energy. There's a lot about secrets here. And not conveying those messages. Just know what goes around comes around. If you're doing some shit, some shit's gonna be done to you. And don't be surprised. But if someone else is doing shit behind your back and you're not doing anything bad, then no, they'll get theirs. Don't worry. Alright, so let's see what else. Whoa, okay. Alright, so. We have the Nine of Pentacles. And we also have the Two of Pentacles. You may be juggling with a certain situation going on. You may be juggling with a certain decision and underneath is the Three of Cups and under that is the Devil and the King of Cups and the Page of Cups. Okay, I got chills. So for some of you, I feel like if there's a cheating scenario, this may be significant. Um, the Three of Cups can symbolize third party. Take it as it resonates. I'm not saying your partner is cheating on you. Okay. Um, but if you are doing the cheating or if you have these inclinations, these feelings, these... Um, if you have reasonable... Within reasonable doubt that your person might be talking to other people by, behind your back, they might be. Um, take it as it resonates. Okay, um, that's not for all of you, but they may be stuck in addictive um, negative behaviors, or you may be stuck in addictive negative behaviors and tendencies and different things like that. Um, it's important to to acknowledge your independence, to embrace your independence and be grateful for your independence. 
but I feel like what this is saying here is that you may be juggling between being committed to someone and giving up on that situation or being committed to someone else. If this is someone else in your surroundings, um, perhaps this may mean that they have been thinking about uh, ending things or, you know, in the best case scenario, maybe you guys will be considering on talking and conveying things, but with the High Priestess and the Page of Swords here in reverse, um, this is really giving me the feeling that someone knows something and isn't saying it. Again, take it as it resonates. This doesn't have to be your situation. It's important to do what you feel is best for you, but don't string people along. Don't lie to people. Don't cheat on someone. No. You're better off alone and single than cheating on someone. I saw 11-11, by the way. So you don't want to fuck up something good, a good relationship. Oh, I just noticed something too. We have the High Priestess, which is number two, and we have the Two of Pentacles. So both Roman numerals, 2-2, two, 11-11. Two, that may be significant to someone. Maybe you're struggling with a significant relationship or a soulmate, twin flame, take it as it resonates, it doesn't have to be. This could also just be a family member, a friendship, a coworker, a boss, a teacher. There's something here that you may be juggling between trying to see someone's true intentions but you have to see your, your own true intentions first. Hmm. Again, with the three of cups, I saw 12, 11 turn to 12, 12. With the three of cups, this could be a celebration towards something. Maybe there is something that you have been celebrating or maybe there is an event where something happened Okay, I'm getting this scenario in my head, and I hope it's not the case, but I have to say it because it's popping up. So with the Three of Cups and this Devil energy with the High Priestess and the Page of Swords in reverse, I'm definitely getting this energy. Maybe there was a party that you and your partner went to, someone cheated, maybe, take as resonates, maybe there was um, some kind of celebratory... Ce like celebration where maybe someone got drunk and did something stupid and that's not an excuse oh I was drunk that's not an excuse no <laughs> don't use that as an excuse no um, so whether this was you or someone else and I feel like this reading is very very specific so this may not resonate with the majority of you in either scenario but it has to be said. I feel here like you, if you're not the one who's cheating or lying or doing anything like that, then you need to be very cautiously aware of who you have in your surroundings or who your love interest is. Um, just because you're not around doesn't mean that, okay, what's this? We should act like we are being watched. Don't do something that you wouldn't want someone to see you do. So, in other words, live your life with some fucking dignity. And don't go around behind people's back just because they're not looking. That's pathetic. Um, learn your lesson. If this is you and you need to learn your lesson because you're in this energy sneaking around doing some stupid shit, then get your shit together. Okay, if this is someone in your energy, be aware. We all have our difficulties. We all have things that 
uh, make us weak at our knees, so to speak. We all have weaknesses, strengths. We all have our own demons, so to speak. And I feel like it's important for you to be aware of people that you spend your time and energy with, like especially like if they're a partner in particular, what their demons are and how they cope with that and how they work through it because they may have some very unhealthy perspectives and uh, behaviors, ways of doing things that is not in alignment with your highest good. Okay. I just, I feel like there's a lot of this sneaky energy. If you want to be independent and you want to fuck around, you want to do what you do, then don't be in a relationship. That should be common sense. And if you're in a relationship with someone who wants to fuck around and do this, but you don't want that, then it's not going to work out. Either they're going to do it behind your back, or I mean, some of them will agree and some of them will actually respect that. But you can't change people and most people don't want to change and most people won't. Not because they're not capable, but because they don't want to. Because it's hard, it takes time, and most people just don't want to fucking change for anybody. And I, I don't mean change in a way of like, oh, you're into this, like don't be into that. I'm just saying like change in terms of, oh, you're very flirtatious with people, but you're in a relationship. Like you shouldn't be flirting with everyone you meet. Again, I feel like these messages today, um, particularly your message here, Leo, is very specific. But someone really needs to hear this. There's a lot of negative energy surrounding you. Maybe there's someone in your friend group or your surroundings or fam a family member, someone who you're close to, they, that when they see you happy and celebrating, and expressing your emotions in a pure way that they kind of um, they have these negative emotions towards that it's like ulterior motives or like they don't want to see you happy they don't want to see you successful because they're miserable and they're not successful that's only a reflection upon themselves and that's something that they have to work through unfortunately we cannot heal people we can only offer advice and tools for them to do the work themselves. Even a counselor, you go to a counselor, uh, what do they do? They help you through the things that you need to, um, that you need help with. But in the end, if you are the patient, the client, whatever you want to call it, then you're the one doing all the work because you're the one that needs to face your stuff and, and work through the healing in that. They're there to help guide you through it like a teacher any of us could pick up a book and start learning something but it's nice to have a teacher someone who can guide you through it um, easier faster and in ways that it's easier to understand and to um, see how something works um, before our eyes like working with our hands versus I know this is kind of a scattered reading a scattered message but like working with your hands versus just reading something and having to teach yourself we have to teach ourselves how to work through our shit but even if we have other people that are there to help us and teach us and work through that with us in the end it's still our responsibility no one else's Be aware of your surroundings, the people around you, because some of them may be wearing masks and hiding secrets. Um, if you have a feeling, like if during all of this there's some particular person and specific situations that pop up into your head, that may be the person that this reading is talking about. If you feel it deep down inside, and I just got chills. If you really feel that deep down, like that message is for you, it's for you. 
don't doubt it if you feel it. If you have this knowing when you hear me say those words and that person pops up in your mind and those situations where you had those red flags pop up in your mind, then that may very well be the exact person that spirit is warning you about. Okay. And if this is your energy, again, don't do no pathetic bullshit. Like, don't lie to your partner. Why be in a relationship with them? If you want to do your own thing, then do your own thing. Single. Then you don't have to worry about hurting anyone else's feelings as long as, you're, as, long as anyone you're involved with knows your intentions. If you want a fuck buddy and that's all you want, you don't want a relationship, don't be in, don't get close to someone who doesn't want a friends with benefits because they want a real relationship and commitment if your values don't align that's okay but don't force something just because you don't want to be alone just because you don't want to face your shit whatever the case is okay underneath the deck we have protective nest and there's like the way that my finger was it kind of had a little split and it says all is connected okay I'm seeing here go with the flow and don't be afraid to make changes in your life know that whatever it is that you're trying to manifest and that you're trying to grow into that you're trying to learn about that's going to take time and dedicated effort But you weave your you weave your own destiny. So don't go around blaming other people because of the way your life is. If you don't like the way your life is, make changes. Period. Okay? Protective nest underneath. Again, I feel like this is kind of making me think of the high priestess because crows can symbolize um knowledge i saw 2212 they could symbolize the other side spirituality occultism different things like that and her having a nest with the uh, eggs and the crow on top is really making me think of high priestess someone who knows someone who's growing within themselves and their knowledge growing in their perspectives and opening up their eyes know that you are protected Know that if you're the one doing this stupid shit, that this person is protected and <laughs> karma's gonna bite you in the ass, and rightfully so. So you do right <laughs> by you and anyone involved. Don't go around behind people's back and don't allow other people to do that to you either. Don't be afraid to cut off people, places, and things in your life that lie to you, that manipulate you, that try to confine you that try to, uh, you know, how can I say, use you, don't put up with any of that, you deserve better, okay? So for this card here, we have Eva. It's very interesting, there's a lot of imagery, this kind of reminds me of a jellyfish, there's a snake here around her neck. She has red hair making me think of a rose the way that it is, like a flower. It's very interesting here. Be sure that you don't accept things that you know you might not be able to fulfill I feel like for some of you you may have your hand in a lot of different jars and it's important for you to redact that because it's really uh, spreading your energy thin okay so Eva I have no clue what this card is about let's see number 16 so 6 is about balance and it could be about love one is like an amplification or about alignment and seven is about spirituality so it says duplicity deception caution i got chills 
you guys. I don't. Just looking at this card, would you get any of those meanings? I didn't. And for literally all of that, that's all, all that shit we were talking about. So this is a confirmation. If, if you're feeling this message, this message is for you. Don't doubt it. If you feel it, then stop questioning. Is this for me? Is this really this person? This is a caution for you, okay? So it says, Out of the jungle steps a woman, half of her body covered with exotic plants and flowers. A snake wriggles around her neck. The woman presents herself like a sweet fruit to be picked. She offers excitement and novelty, but be careful. Her kiss could be as toxic as her bite of a snake, as the bite of a snake. Like the deceitful friend or lover, her unreadable countenance, counter, count, countenance, sorry, mask her true intentions. So, there's someone for a lot of you, I feel, if this message is resonating with you, if you're still here then there's someone deceitful in your energy or this could be you. You could be deceiving yourself about something. This doesn't have to be malicious, okay? Take it as it resonates. But this is making me feel again like a jellyfish or like an angel fish or something, like a poisonous fish or something that can be harmful. There may be someone who you're dealing with who's very alluring, very sensual, like you find this person very sexy, whether they're male or female, but their intentions based on this card and based on the other messages throughout the reading um, are not pure. This person might be the type of person who will get what they want and then just leave high and dry. I feel like this is the type of person who's very cunning and who will do whatever they must or must to have their way. Even if that means going behind your back in order to have their way, then this person might just do that. Like they have no morals. This person doesn't fucking care, they're super selfish. And being selfish to some degree is necessary and it's not bad to be selfish um, completely. But there's a fine line between healthy selfishness, like taking care of yourself so you have enough energy and time and money to uh, help yourself so you can help other people. But this is the kind of person who's just like all about themselves. Okay. Again, I feel like if this is your situation, you're dealing with someone like this, Leo, then you need to go within and figure out your next plan of action. Figure out what it is that you want to do or how you're going to go about this. This person may be very close to you. They may be a coworker. They may be someone you're not too close to. But their energy does affect you a lot, okay? Or they may be trying to come in because they want something from you. Just be very careful, okay? So, um, I was going to say, I hope this message resonated, but I, I wouldn't want anyone to have to deal with this shit. Like, I hope that this message brought you clarity and perspective into your situation, but Hopefully this isn't your situation because this is bullshit. Um, but this is what I'm seeing, so I gotta read what I see. I'm not gonna sugarcoat shit for anybody. And I hope that um, this brought you some clarity into your situation. I hope you'll consider um, joining this whole family if you're not already clicking the bell notification so you'll be notified every time I post new content. And I uh, hope you'll consider liking, sharing, subscribing, all that jazz. And I love you guys. I hope to see you in the next one.